Hello, today I want to introduce you to a wonderful resource that our school has provided to you. This is called Career Cruising. It's a website that you can use from sixth grade all the way on through your schooling up through 12th grade. It's got a lot of different resources for searching for careers, scholarships, different colleges. And I just want to give you a brief introduction today. First of all, here is the main page, careercruising.com. You're going to enter your username and your password, which should be the same as you use to log into your school computer. For some of the sixth graders, it might still be your elementary password. But once you get in, I can show you how to change that. If you can't get in, ask your teacher, ask me. We can figure out how to get you in. So you have your username, which for a lot of you is going to be your full email, and then your password or it might just be your school login. And I'm going to enter my password here. I have a demo site, so it's going to look slightly different once we get in, but mostly the same. So we're in. And once you're in, you'll get a page that looks very similar to this. Now, some of you might not have anything completed in your progress bar. Some of you might have more completed in your progress bar, and that is fine. But here's where it starts with career cruising. Your name should show up on the top here, My EDP. Across the top, we have Assessment tab, Careers tab, Education tab, and Financial Aid tab. You can do the search bar to search careers and schools. And you can do this stuff along the side here. There's usually some quotes and some focus as you scroll down the page. What we want to look at to begin with is the Michigan Career Pathways. In order to get there, you just simply click on Careers. Careers will take you to Explorers Careers tab, which then you can click on the Michigan Career Pathways. Scroll down a little bit, you will see the six career pathways that we have recently talked about. And then you can click the one that most interests you, which will give you a long list of careers that might interest you. Now, it's not saying that all of these are the careers that you might like, but there's a list of samples that are there. You can also adjust the level of education that's needed. You're expecting to go on to a four-year university then you can unclick some of these and see the careers that take a four-year university to get into that career or you can leave them and just see the whole list that's there okay so that's careers and using michigan career pathways if ever you want to get back to the main screen you can click on the career cruising here or you can click on my edp they're both similar places i'll click on the career cruising because the next thing i want to show you is the career matchmaker in order to do this, we want to click on Assessments. And here on the left is the Matchmaker Assessment. And this is matching your career interests to the careers that are out there to give you a nice list. In order to do this, you'll want to start Matchmaker. And you can see they give you an example of what the questions are going to be like. And you just have this scale. Do you like them very much or less? And click your way through them. You will not get a good list if all you click does not matter. So make sure you've got some that you like, some that you dislike, some that you like very much, and so on. In order to start, you need to make a label. And I always just say put the date that you're filling it in. So I click start now. And then it will start the series of questions that you're going to be working through. It's going to give you um, 39 questions and then give you a list of careers. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Because on my EDP, there are several that have been completed. I'm going to jump on one here. Here is a list of careers for this student. They've done the questions, and here is the list. Now, please don't think that this first career is what you want to do. No, this is just a list of some careers that might interest you. It kind of narrows them down. If it is not, you can answer more questions. And there are three opportunities to answer more questions. The more questions you answer, it narrows it down even more and more. And you will find careers that interest you. You can adjust the level of education, which gives you more or less careers, depending on what your career goals are. And then, if you click on the career that interests you the most, you can, it's an illustrator, see a lot of things about that career. Here are the things that brought them to you. So we can click on at a glance. For an illustrator, you can read all about them, level of education, their tasks, workplace, abilities. You can 
learn about the job description, how much they're going to make, their earnings, education level, their pathway, other resources and related careers, lots of things in this tab here. So if you're interested in this career, I would encourage you to click Save to my EDP and get some careers that interest you saved to your EDP so you can find them quicker and easier. Last thing I want to show you on this one, under Assessments to the right was our Learning Styles Inventory. And same thing, you click on it here, and it will take you through. Now, this one has been completed on this demo tab, so you can say this person is a visual auditory learner. But you'll just answer some sample questions, and it will lead you to how you best learn, which is some great information to think about as you're going through your school. So I will stop this introduction here and come back with another one, depending on how far you need to go in your introduction to career fusion. Enjoy!